purpose of this DVD is to provide an introduction to chemotherapy and radiation treatment. Hello, good morning. Margaret? Good morning. Yes. Margaret, I was wondering if you could complete this patient registration form and bring it back to the desk when you're finished. Thank you. At Radiation, if you need help, there's always someone to help you fill out your form. I'll come through this way, guys. Now, if you just grab a seat over here, Margaret, what we'll get you to do, there's a change cubicle over here. We'll get you to take your jacket off, um, just your shoes and your pants. There's some gowns hanging up on the wall. When you're done, if you could just wander straight across under the red light over here, yep. and we'll do the CT scan then. We're going to get you to climb up onto the bed, please. Okay, Mark, we're just going to take the bed up a little bit. If you could just have a tiny wriggle down towards your toes for me. Thank you. We're going to slide you in through the machine. You can feel the bed moving. Marg, we're all set to do the scan. We're going to step outside the room. You'll be by yourself for about two or three minutes. We're watching you outside from through the glass window. If you need us at all, if you wave your hand, we'll come straight in. Okay. Okay, Marg, that scan's all done. What we can do now is you can go and get your clothes back on, and then I'll have a chat to you about when your next appointments and things like that are to start your actual treatment. So yeah. feel the bed going down. Okay, Marg, well done. Here's your appointment card with your next appointment to come back and start the treatment. That'll be a couple of weeks away from today's scan. Mm -hmm. um, on the back of the card, it's got our phone numbers and things like that. If you need anything, give reception a call and they can sort things out. The last thing I need to do is just to grab a quick picture of you. And this just goes in your treatment file as a way for us to recognise you. So I'll just take that now. One, two, three. Beautiful. Now we're right to go. Thank you, Nick. So, Margaret, I just want to run through some information with you about how best to care for your skin when you're having radiotherapy treatment. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So, I don't know whether you're aware, but some of the changes that can happen with your skin are a bit like having sunburn. So we give you some specific information just to help you care for your skin whilst you're having the treatment. So one of the main things is not to use perfume soaps. Okay, we prefer you to use simple soaps that don't have perfumes or additives in that might irritate the skin. Also, the soreness that you see on the outside of the skin can also happen on the inside. So that can affect the mouth, your throat. So you might want to look at different foods to eat that might be softer and easier to swallow. But what we'll do is we'll link you in with a dietitian and you can talk to the dietitian about things you like to eat and what things you can do to make sure you maintain healthy through the treatment. I'm going to give you some written information to take away with you so that if you need some more information or you can't remember everything we've talked about, you've got this to refer back to. Ms Murray? Hi, my name's Ibrahim. I'm one of the radiation therapists here. How are you? Good. Good. And are you with anyone here today? Never. Never. G'day mate, my name's Ibrahim, I'm one of the radiation therapists. If it's okay with you, we're going to take Margaret with us, so if you stay here please, and we'll be back in probably about 20 minutes or so. Margaret, would you like to come on? Ms Murray, so before we go on any further, I need to ask you our identification questions. You might have seen at the front desk where we've got full name, date of birth and address. If you can provide that to me, that would be great. Normally we'll get our patients changed, but because we are treating your head region, we don't need to get you changed. Before we go into the room, I'll explain to you what we're intending to do. So the treatment itself is painless. You don't feel anything. You don't see anything. You basically just lie on a, on a bed. Do you have any questions for me? Would you like to go ahead? Okay. So we basically need you to take a seat here and we want you to yep, place your legs here 
A main chair going to help you slowly lie back down. Yep, great. But basically when I place this cast on, it's quite tight on you. And the reason why it's tight is so, so it prevents you from moving around. And saying that, you won't be able to talk. Mm -hmm. um, so Chi will give you the bell. This one here. So you ring this bell at any time that you want us to stop or come and assist you at any, any way. Slowly I'm going to start putting on the cast. Is that okay with you? Here we go. Are you okay? Now I'm going to start raising the bed, so you might hearing a, a buzzing noise. Yeah. So Chi, can you please move to 90 please on the ankle? Margaret, so we're ready to step out now. So remember, you've got the bell in your hand, yeah. so you can ring that at any time. And there's actually cameras all around this room, so we can see you at all times. Mm -hmm. And we can hear you at all times. Mm -hmm. um, so once again, please breathe normally, yeah. and we'll be back very shortly. So you're literally halfway now. Okay. Many people think they are radioactive after radiation. However, once the machine is turned off, the radiation has stopped. So you're not radioactive. Congratulations, first day completed. Are you okay? Do you have any questions at all? No, not at this stage. You will need to see the doctor every week prior to your chemotherapy. It's important that you attend your appointment on time because chemotherapy can take a number of hours or just a few minutes. But if you're late, that means your chemotherapy is going to be late. Hello, Margaret. Hi. Hi, how are you going? I'm Kim. I'm your oncology nurse today. How are you going? That's good. And, and you are? I'm Kelly. I'm the Aboriginal health worker. Oh, welcome, welcome. Now, we're just going to go into this room so I can do some education about what's going to happen today. If you'd like to come with me. You're welcome too, Kelly, to come in. I'm just going to take your bag because I just want you to hop onto the scales. I just need to know what your weight is. You need to be weighed before each treatment so the doctors know the amount of drug to give you. Margaret, I just wanted to know what the doctor might have told you about your treatment today. Not much. Not much. That, that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're mm -hmm. going to give you some information. One of the sheets that we use is actually an EverQ sheet here that's all about the chemotherapy and the side effects. And this is for you guys to take home with you and you can read through it and reference it so you can understand yourself. Some other literature that we actually have for you as well is um, the Cancer Council information. These are booklets that are really good information and we just ask you to take them home with you so you can actually just read through them or if people would like to ask you questions that you're not sure about, you can hand them a booklet in their time. There's um, actually Pacific um, Aboriginal um, and Torres Strait Islander information as well, so I'm going to give you those. You might like to give them to Kelly so she holds on to them. We'll look at them a bit later on. So I'm just going to start with what's going to happen for you today. We're going to take you down to the treatment area and I'm going to pop in a drip, which is an IV cannula, a needle just to go on your arm. So we have to pop that in to be able to give you your treatment today. And then um, we will give you some pre-medications to help with any nausea that could occur. And then we give you some hydration, yeah. chemotherapy and then hydration again. Anyone that has a new drug can have an allergic reaction. So it's really important that if you've got a headache or back pain or chest pain or felt unwell that you just let me know. One of the side effects is can be nausea and vomiting but we give you some tablets to go home with and as I did, we did mention that I gave, going to give you something prior to chemotherapy. Nausea and vomiting is very well controlled these days compared to what it was a long time ago so hopefully that will be um, under control for you and if you find that it's not working for you there are other other medications that we can add to your treatment regime. The other thing is, um, I'm not sure if you know, that we, you have to purchase a thermometer because mm -hmm. the thermometer is to check your temperature. And what happens is the chemotherapy is there and it's going to kill off all your um, cancer cells. That's what it's aiming at. But it also kills things that are rapidly dividing. Some of the things that rapidly divide in our body are our white cells that fight infection. That's the best way to explain it. So if they're low, your body doesn't have any ability to be able to fight infections. So the, the first sign that you may be unwell is a temperature. So if you get a temperature at 38, you've got to come to the hospital. I know I've gone through some uh, lots and there's lots to take in. Did you have any questions? 
Probably no. Not, not at the not moment. At this stage. Um, I've got Kel. With yeah. Me. And what about you, Kelly? Did you have any questions at the moment? I think as Margaret goes through the treatment, yep. there could be a lot of questions. Yeah, so. that's mm. fine. You know, one of the most important things that you can do is, because you're going to have lots of appointments between doctors yeah. and here and radiation, really important that you get a little diary, just a, something that you can carry yep. that's with you all the time, that you can write down or your temperatures and all that sort of stuff. Yep. You've got your Aboriginal health diary, Margaret? Yeah, I can get one off Kel. Oh, that's great. That's really important because it just keeps everything in the one spot and gives a great mm. reference point. So the Aboriginal Health Diary would be awesome. Yeah. You just want to take a seat here, Margaret, and I'm just going to get a pillow for you. So if you just take a seat in this one, get yourself comfortable because you'll be sitting for a little while. Yep. How are you going, Margaret? Okay. A bit scared. It's all right to be scared, but I'm here if you need me. Yep. I should be okay. So I'll let you finish your treatment and I'll come back as soon as you finish your treatment so I get one of the nurses to give me a call. Yeah, okay. I'll get them to give you a call. I'll see you later. Okay. Now, Margaret, we've just popped that cannula in now, so I'm just going to hook you up to the IV pole and um, the IV fluids. This is only just normal saline that's running, so we're just going to do that first of all. Now, Margaret, I've just got your pre-medications here. It's an anti-nausea medication, just what we give prior to chemotherapy, just to make sure that we can keep all the um, any sickness away. That's what we're hoping for. So I'm just going to hook that up first. Okay, now Margaret, I have my um, gloves and gown on, uh -huh. so I'm ready to hang the chemotherapy and I'm just putting that on to protect myself. So this is your chemotherapy here. So I'm just gonna hang it up for you. Now, we've got it covered with a black bag, just purely to protect it from sunlight. So the chemotherapy is gonna run down the bag and into your hand. And if you feel any of those side effects, like shortness of breath, chest pain, or any problems at the cannula site, just let me know, okay then? So I'm just gonna get that started for you. Okay then, well that's gonna start running now. Are you right? I'm fine. Okay then. <laughs> if you feel unwell after chemotherapy treatment, you are advised to ring your chemotherapy unit, your doctor, or present at the emergency department. Chemotherapy kills cancer cells, but it can be harmful to people who don't have cancer. If you vomit or have an accident, put on kitchen gloves and dispose of in a plastic bag. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. Oh, that's excellent. Now, you know that you can ring us if you have any concerns, yep, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, okay then, bye-bye.